In this video, we will learn how to solve systems of linear equations by graphing. The initial questions are not by graphing. There are two questions by graphing. But here they have asked to state whether these, these equations are consistent or inconsistent and whether they are independent or dependent. Now, you need to understand if it's consistent, there are two cases. Consistence means you have solution. If there is consistent, there can be independent and dependent. If it's inconsistent, that is just no solution. That's it. Now, how do we understand which is what? We can directly do it in the calculator and verify. But first important thing is we should know the standard form. That is AX plus BY equals C. So we need to write everything in the standard form. Leave Y as it is. Let's take this to the other side. It will be this equation will be rearranged to minus 3x plus y is equal to 0 and the second one will be 3x goes to the other side it becomes positive plus y is equal to 2. Now if you're thinking over here can't I take y to the other side? Yes you can then it will be positive 3x minus y if both the signs will be changed that's fine you'll get the same answer you can try that. Now this when you solve it in the calculator you get answers so how will it help me to understand this consistent or inconsistent I'll tell you in a minute first let's solve it in the calculator we need to use mode and this, these are equations so it's phi and now which option over here it's not 3 and 4 because it's squared and cubic no we don't have z variables so let's go with option 1 and here we have to type in the coefficients of x y and the last constant value the coefficient is minus 3, over here it will be 1, and lastly we have 0, same thing, 3, 1, and over here 2. Once you type all the values after pressing, if you press equal to, you'll get the answers. Now we are not bothered about the answers, they are not asking for answers. We got the solution, right? That means if you graph these two equations, they will meet at a certain point. That was at 1 third comma 1. So this is they are meeting at a point so this means there is a solution so it is consistent the answer whenever you get a solution over here it is consistent but what is it dependent or independent to know whether it's dependent or independent you need to see how how you get the answer it's only one point right one answer that means these linear equations touch at one point and never touch again so they are independent now imagine the solution the two graphs sorry are overlapping they're the same lines okay then that means there are infinite solutions then they are dependent over here if two lines are the same if two lines are not gonna touch any more only one point then it's independent if they don't touch at all if they are two separate lines then they are inconsistent that is no solution so whenever you get the answers you directly tell it's consistent independent that's the answer over here this is consistent, independent. Now let's do some other problem. Let's do the second one. Please remember here when you're doing it, you need to take this x to the other side. It will be minus 1 and then y is 1. And what about the constant? It's minus 5. Minus 2, 2 and minus 10. Now here we are getting infinite solution. If you have the latest model of your calculator, then yes, you will get this. But otherwise, what's going to happen is you will get a math error. Now, in this case, you need to simplify this because majority of you might just get a math error. And what you need to do is you need to solve this up. How would you solve this? So it's up to you to choose which form you want to keep. You can just keep it as standard form because majority of the questions will be in standard form. See, it'll be X and Y together and the constant. So I will write the first equation like that. I'll take this to the other side. It'll be minus X plus y equals minus 5. Now all you need to do is make one of the coefficients equal. You can either make minus 2 to minus x or you can make minus uh, x to uh, minus 2x. It's up to you. Now here in this case it's easy to multiply away. If you just multiply 2 you will make these co coefficients same, right? I'll multiply here minus 2x but you need to multiply this 2 throughout not just for one term plus 2y equals minus 10. Now look at these two equations. What are they? They are the same. That means they are the same line, literally the same line. So there is infinite solution. Every point is the solution. That means it's dependent. Here we have infinitely many solutions and it's consistent and dependent as you can see. 
You can try the others over here. You will get an answer. So it's very simple. You, it's consistent, independent. Let's try without solution. Okay, over here there is zero solutions. Let's do this up. When you solve it up, you should just put 3, 1, minus 2, 6, 2, and 10. Now we are getting no solution. But many of your calculators will just give you a math error. So what do you do? You need to start simplifying them. Now, as I told you, see the first coefficient. Over here, we, are, we had to write it in the same form. But here, you need to see the coefficients and try to get them same. One of the coefficient only, not all. So let's multiply this by 2. What will I get? I'll get 6x plus 2y is equal to minus 4. Can you see that these two terms are matching? But this last terms, minus 2 and 10, they're not the same. This means they are same slope, same things. They're parallel lines. I mean, it'll start somewhere, but they will be starting at different y-intercept. That is the reason they are parallel lines. They'll never touch each other. Therefore, it's just inconsistent, no solution. That is how we solve these problems. I'll just write out the types of graphs. So if it is consistent, then it can be two things and one more is inconsistent, I see. Now what about consistent? It can be dependent and independent. One, two. So first, dependent would be same lines. That is the thing. Independent is something like this and inconsistent would be parallel lines. These are the three cases. Now over here you will get, sorry, over here you will get answer in the solution. Inconsistent, sorry, independent is direct answers in the calculator over. That is consistent and independent. Whereas if you're getting no solutions directly, then just take inconsistent. But if you're Calculator is giving math error, solve it up. And if you're getting the x, y, x, y same, but equal to different numbers here, then it is inconsistent. They're parallel lines. But if you're getting the entire two equations same, then it would be dependent. So these are the three cases. Easily, you can check the answers from the uh, options. So these are the solutions over here. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.